Well, if it seems to you that more cougars are on the prowl in Vancouver Island this summer than before, you're right. It's happening in both rural areas and urban centers. Just this afternoon, Long Beach was closed in Tofino after somebody spotted a cougar there. And in the Comox Valley, members of a local riding club are in shock after one of their beloved horses was mauled by a cougar. As CTV's Gord Kerbis reports, conservation officers are overwhelmed with reports. In just a few short days, this is where the Comox Valley Therapeutic Riding Association will be locating several of their horses. They're getting ready for another season of using the animals to help those with special needs. But this year, riders will learn a popular horse of theirs is now dead. My first reaction was, oh my God, this horse was just a favorite. And I've had her at my place for a summer. Don was a 20-year-old Norwegian Fjord horse that had been used by the riding group for six years. The horse appeared in a promotional video put together by our station a few years ago. She was found dead on Friday morning. A cougar is strongly suspected as the killer. The horse was alone. Could have been one reason, but I know there's sheep near there, there's baby calves, there's buffalo, there's... So I don't know why it would just attack this horse. Attacks on horses are very rare, and cougars are normally much more interested in deer. This wildlife expert says one reason we're seeing more cougars is because they are following their prey. By studying uh, wolf and cougar ecology in the area, they are hunting a variety of prey, so uh, raccoon is very important in their diet, as are river otter and, surprisingly to us, harbor seals. Information about this incident has been circulating throughout the Comox Valley's community of horse owners. They're trying to spread awareness about the cougar's presence. They're also sharing information about what precautions should be taken. That's also where many rumors are circulating as to why the cougar would attack a horse. And I heard this morning it could be a, a male that's been ostracized by his pack and he's by, by himself, an old male, and he's hungry. Yeah. Or it could be a young one that was kicked out of the pack. And so the there's a lot of theories. <laughs> this attack is the latest in an escalating number of run-ins with Vancouver Island's growing cougar population. Here in the North Island zone, 233 calls uh, specific to cougars. Those calls range from basic sightings, uh, pet and livestock losses, uh, and right up through it, including uh, where a cat's made contact with a human. And those 233 calls are just from April 1st of this year to today. And if you've had a sighting, you're encouraged to call into the 24-hour reporting line. Gord Kerbis, CTV News in the Comox Valley.